Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Kids Connection. My name is Audrey Zorik. I am the director of Kids Connection here at Vallejo Drive Church. Kids Connection is a place where we learn how to connect with each other and with God. And we're so happy that you've joined us today online. If this is your first time, we want to welcome you and invite you to come back each Sabbath for a new program where we get to sing different songs, we learn about God in a different way. And today we have something very fun, an activity, very fun activity that we're going to play with you guys. And I'm going to invite mom and dad to get ready. Or if you are watching with grandma or grandpa or aunts and uncles, whoever is an adult with you, call them up. Get them ready because we are going to need their assistance to play a little something today in our theme of the day. Now, uh, last week we asked you guys to write letters to us. And we were going to read those letters on the air. And I'm happy that three kids, with the assistance of mom and dad, wrote to us. And I'm going to read those notes to you guys now. So, Will is watching us right now. And uh, he sent us a note. Mom sent us a note for Will. And here's what it says. Our family is all home together. And Will has been building, playing with Legos doing crafts and playing outside in the backyard, as well as helping out his baby sister, Mia. I don't know if you guys remember seeing Mia here at church. So tiny, she's probably grown a little bit now, and he's helping Mia at home. That's so great, Will. Will really misses seeing all the teachers and friends at church. We enjoy watching all the programs online, and it brings a big smile to his face when Miss Teresa say his name as she welcomes all the kids. We pray that everyone stays healthy and that we will see each other again soon. Thank you, Will's family, for all the love and thank you for writing us a note. We miss you and we hope that all this goes away soon and we can worship God here at home. Will, thank you for the lovely note. All right, our next note comes from far away. Do you guys remember Francisco and Frederico? Yes? Well, guess where they are? They are in Mexico. However, they tune in and they watch our program every Sabbath. And they ask mom to, we want to go to Sabbath, Sabbath school. And here is what mom wrote. Our family is so appreciative of Kids Connection team. Every week, the boys, that is Francisco and Frederico, they ask, can we go to Sabbath school? That's so cool. And I bet that they're watching right now. Francisco, Frederico, I hope that God is keeping you safe in Mexico where you are along with your family. We can't wait to see you guys back here. Thank you, Mom, for writing this, uh, this note. And we appreciate all the love that you shared with us. Now, our third note comes from JR and Seth. And here is what Seth wrote with the help of mom. We miss going to church every Sabbath and hanging out with all the other kids. We haven't been able to go to daycare, but our parents are working really hard to keep us busy even though they're both working from home. Last week, I, this is Seth, I turned two years old. Happy birthday, Seth! Seth turned two, congratulations! Whoa, this is amazing. We can't wait to see you again so we can give you a nice hug and wish you a happy birthday. So he continues by saying, I turned two years old and we even camped in our backyard in a big red tent, red tent. It was so much fun. Every night we pray that everyone who is sick feels better and that God takes care of everyone. See you guys soon, JR and Seth. JR and Seth, we miss you guys too. Thank you so much for writing us the note. We, we love you and we want to see you guys very soon here at Kids Connection. Now, if you want to send us a note and if you want us to read your note to your friends or to, our teacher, to your teachers or to us here at Kids Connection or to KID. Speaking of KID, I want to share something about KID happening later today. Go ahead, send us an email. The email is it's VD kidsconnection at gmail.com VD stands for Vallejo Drive so it's VD kidsconnection at gmail.com 
Send us an email. I need your names and I need that new little note. We will read your note uh, on the air on the next program. And thank you so much for the three, uh, for Will, for Francisco and Frederico from Mexico and from JR and Seth who wrote us this little note. Now, later I'm going to share something about what's happening with Kid today, 7, this afternoon, and how you can get involved and you can tell us what is going to happen next Sabbath, okay? So it's coming up. But for now, I'm going to invite you guys to welcome to Kids Connection by standing up and singing our song of the day. You know why? Because I want you guys not to worry. Don't worry about a thing. Whoa, that was a fun song. Remember when we sang that song here at Kids Connection? And we also sang that song right here in this room doing our VBS not long ago. Wasn't that great? I hope you guys enjoy singing the song of the day. Now let's bow our heads so we can talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for another beautiful day. Thank you for another Kids Connection that is on the way. We ask that you bless us. Bless each kid that are watching this program at home right now, whatever they are. Be with them and help us learn a little bit about, about you and connect with you a little bit more today. Thank you for being our God, for answering our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wonderful. Now, let's go ahead and listen to our missionary story. 
Last week, we talked about a boy that really enjoyed soccer. Do you remember that? I hope you do, because today we're going to talk about some youth and what they are doing to share the love of Jesus with other people. Now, here at Kids Connection, we have fun together. We have all the kids that come in and we play together. We play the games together. We sing songs together and we are sharing the love of Jesus. In other places of the world, we have some missionaries that they're also doing the same thing. However, they're doing it in a different way. Let's watch what the youth, missionaries youth, are doing in other places of the world and where our offering is going to help them continue to share the love of Jesus. Let's watch our missionary story. In the 1880s, Ellen White visited Oslo, Norway and preached at the Bethel Seventh-day Adventist Church. Today, Oslo is one of Europe's most expensive cities, although it ranks high on quality of life. It's the center of the Norwegian economy and government. The Betel Church still operates at a prime location in the heart of the city. On Sabbath, you'll find a melting pot of cultures forming Sabbath school classes and then coming together for the main service. In this church, youth are a high priority. In 2017, a portion of your 13 Sabbath offering started a renovation project for a space specifically for youth outreach. The youth group in Oslo is very active and inclusive. Today, Alex and Marielle are asking church members to spread the word about upcoming events to any young person they know. There are universities scattered throughout Oslo, with many students hoping to make new friends. This group happily welcomes newcomers into the close-knit community. Events are scheduled throughout the week for the youth to connect with each other outside of church, too. I love the cabin trips that we have, <laughs> going skiing and hanging out together, because then you get to have like a lot of uh, deep conversations together, too, with friends that you normally don't get the possibility to uh, in normal settings. I'm a very social being. I need people. <laughs> and. Uh, just a bunch of great guys and girls, good people to hang around with. On this Sabbath, they've planned a picnic in the park after church where they can socialize and get to know each other. For me, I don't always think about it as much as uh, it bring, you know, the youth group, more as uh, it's my friends, we want to go uh, hang out and then we can just like make, sort of make an arrangement and get together. Each Sabbath afternoon, the youth group from the Bethel Church joins young Adventists and their friends from all over Oslo for conversation, testimonies, and music. This gives them another opportunity to recharge spiritually and socially. Although this larger community benefits from spending time together, there are many in Oslo who don't know Jesus. The challenges of working in such a large urban area can be discouraging. Norway is a very secular country, so uh, of course it makes it more difficult for mission workers telling people about the gospel because everyone has sort of heard about it and they have in, in a way made their own opinion about it, so it makes it very difficult to show them how good it really is. The young people in Oslo ask Adventists around the world to join them in prayer. We need prayer for trying to have the best kind of environment for people to get more involved with God and each other. So pray for some spiritual guidance, help us to be more or better at meeting people and uh, show others that we are Christians. Please pray for this group in Norway and thank you for your support of the 13th Sabbath offering that is helping this group reach more young people. Whoa, that was a great story. And it's incredible how they are sharing Jesus' love and God's love with those people. And they are connecting. Did you see that? How they are connecting with outside activities and they're doing things and events 
just like we did here at Kids Connection, they are connecting with people who they can share the love of Jesus. And our offering is going to help them to continue to uh, share the love of Jesus and love of God with other people. Thank you for your offering. If you haven't done it yet, go ahead and click on the link above and where you, mom and dad can donate to the missionaries for today's offering. Thank you. Now, today I want to share something very, very fun with you. I'm going to invite my daughter, Lanessa, to come out here today. Lanessa, uh, always, every now and then, she helps me with explaining a few things. So, uh, Lanessa, come on up here. And we're going to ask you boys and girls, hello. Now, earlier today, I asked that mom and dad or an adult or whoever is with you at home, be ready because we want to, we want your help so we can explain and, and help the kids understand something. Now, before we get to that, let me just um, show you guys something. Um, Lanessa, can you do me a favor? Here. Can you turn around this way? And I think it's right here. Yes. So now, Lanessa, I'm going to ask you to cross your arms in front of your, of your chest. Yes, like that. Thank you. Now, I'm going to invite you to close your eyes. Are your eyes closed? Don't bend your knees. Don't bend your knees. I'm going to ask you to fall back, and I'm going to catch you on a count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was scary, wasn't it? Yes, yes! <laughs> that was scary. All right, let's try it again. Let's try it on this side now. Ready? Here we go. Here's Lanessa. Here I am. Lanessa, I am very, very far away from you. Now, go ahead and close your eyes. Eyes closed and fall back. Whoa! <laughs> that was scary again. Whoa, that was scary. However, was that fun? Uh, kind of fun, maybe a little bit scary. Right, it was a little bit scary. Yes, and, and but however, she fell back with her eyes closed. And why did you fall back with your eyes closed? She fell back with her eyes closed because she trusts me. Now, I'm going to ask you to ask mom, dad, uncle, or aunt, grandma, or grandpa, or whoever you are watching this with at home. Ask them to do the same thing. I'm going to show you one more time, okay? Here it is. Lanessa is right here, okay? I'm going to take one step back, one step back. Now, I'm going to ask her to fall. Mom and dad... Are you guys helping the kids at home? Yes? Okay. So I'm going to give you a little more time for you to get ready. And we're going to do this together. I'm going to do it here. And you guys are going to do it at home. Ready? I'm going to get ready right behind Lanessa. Lanessa, close your eyes. Kids, close your eyes at home. On a count of three, we're all going to fall back. Mom and dad and someone is going to catch you. Don't have your sister or your brother or any little one catch you behind. Make sure that it's an adult to play this game, okay? Make sure that it's an adult. So, Renessa, parents, everyone ready at home? Here we count. Here we go. On a count of three. One, two, three, fall. Whoa! Again. I hope that you guys got to fall at home and someone to you. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? All right. So, you guys get to do it again. Okay? You get to do it again. And I'm going to thank Renessa for joining us, for uh, helping us demonstrate. Now, why did you fall back? Why did Lanessa fall back? Do you know who was behind you? Huh? Do you know that, did you know that this person was actually going to catch you? Lanessa, did you know that I was going to catch you? But yet you fell back because Lanessa trust, trust me. And her trust made, helped her close her eyes, cross her arms, and fall back. And because of that trust, I was able to catch her and not let her down because she knew and she knows that her father 
I will not do something to hurt her and I will always protect her. Lanessa, I want you to bring our new family member here uh, from you right now. I'm gonna show you guys something and I wanna explain why I'm showing this to you, okay? So Lanessa is gonna bring someone here to me and I'm gonna show you guys, um, um, I'm gonna introduce you to someone if you haven't met her yet. Thank you. Hello, say hello to Rosie. Yes, Rosie is our very energetic puppy. She is three months old and she's a multi -poo. Look at, look at her. She's so cute. Hey, Rosie. Hey, Rosie. Hey, Rosie. Yes, 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 yes. She has a little, a little, a little uh, a tag, name tag here that says Rosie with her phone number in the back. Now, Rosie is three and a half months old. Excuse me. She's three months old. We have her for two weeks now. She's very energetic. She loves to play around the house. She loves chasing Lanessa. She loves chasing a ball and she loves pulling a little a little bone and 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 rustling with a with a rug where's that where's that the, the the rope that we just got her we just got her a new rope now because she loves to play with all the toys that we gave her let me show you thank you here it is look at look at this toy come on rosie look at the toy look at look at her look at her see that see, see that you see you see how she's trying to catch oh she got it ha 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 she she got her rope and this is one of the toys that she plays with now why am i showing you rosie here today well first of all i want you to see our little pup look at her oh isn't she cute she's so cute i know and she's looking at lanessa behind the camera here but i'm showing you rosie today because i want to explain you something Rosie doesn't know anything. She can't cook. She cannot clean the house. She can't go outside by herself because the doors are closed. She needs someone to care for her. No. With only two weeks, yes, Rosie, with only two weeks, we learn how to love this little puppy and she became a part of our family and what I want you guys to understand something that has to do with our lesson today is that Rosie she doesn't worry about anything Rosie doesn't worry that she can't she doesn't she can't go outside by herself she she doesn't care where her food is coming from. Rosie doesn't worry about anything at all. Do you know why? Because Rosie has us. She has me, she has Lanessa, she has Larissa, and she has mom to take care of her. And because of that, she doesn't have to worry about where her food is coming from, where the water is coming from, she doesn't have to worry that she needs to take a bath by herself. We give her a bath. We play with her. We take her for walks because we love Rosie. The same way that Lanessa felt back and I caught her and she didn't worry about that she was going to fall. The same way Rosie trusts us that we are going to take care of her. Right, Rosie? Isn't that right? Yes, that's right. Now, what does this have to do with our lesson today? Well, today in our classroom, we are going to learn how to trust someone. We're going to learn, we're going to hear a story about trusting God. And when we trust God and we put everything in His hands, we actually don't have to worry about anything. Just like our song of, of the day, don't worry about a thing. So with that in mind, I'm going to ask you guys to join us again singing our song of the day, don't worry about a thing. While me and Rosie here are going to be singing right here at Kids Connection. Let's sing our song of the day one more time. Thank you for coming, Rosie.
loves me and he loved me first he rescued me when i was in a lurch and i won't worry worry about a thing and to the left i'll fly 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 to the right i'll fly glide glide oh and i won't worry worry about a thing i'm gonna swoop down low Wow, Rosie had fun singing the song with us here at Kids Connection. And she didn't have to worry about a thing. <laughs> that was fun, and I hope you guys had fun singing the song one more time at home with us. Now, let's go ahead and close our eyes so we can thank Jesus for this program. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you because you are our God and because you protect us. Thank you because that because of the love that you have for us, we don't have to worry about a thing. Thank you because you promise that you're going to take care of us. And right now, God, as we are facing this pandemic of the coronavirus, we don't know what it is. We know that this is scary. It, it, it changed our lives. We are home. We can't go to school, we can't go to the park, we can't go to places and do things that we used to do. But Lord, we know that you are going to protect us. I ask now that all the boys and girls at home, along with mom and dad and everyone, that we, we trust you and we put our, our lives in your hands. May we believe and may we know and remember that you are always there with us you know all the things in the same way that mom and dad protect us and we protect Rosie the same way God you protect us and because of that we don't have to worry we can just trust that you are our God and you're going to keep us safe thank you for answering our prayer thank you for another kids connection program Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. Thank you for being a part of another Kids Connection program. Remember earlier today I told you that I was going to share something about kid. Yes, 
Last week, I asked you guys to send us an email, vdkidsconnection at gmail.com, if you want a kid to come and visit you. Well, guess what? Today, kid is going to visit five kids because mom and dad, and they helped get in contact with us, and we got their address. We have some kids that are here in Glendale. We have some kids that are up in in La Crescenta, Flint Ridge, La Cañada, Flint Ridge. We have some kids that are in Tahunga. We have some kids that are in Burbank. And we are, I'm going to be driving kid all over town to visit you guys. Now, remember this, because of the social distancing, we cannot step out of the car. We cannot go out and sit. Maybe we can even step out of the car, but we can't go give you a hug and give you a high fives and, and talk to you so closely. However, we invite the kids that send us an email to come out to the streets. I'm gonna text mom and dad and I have their numbers. I'm gonna text them and let them know that we are on the way in. We should be at, at their house within 10 or 15 minutes. So they can be outside and kid is gonna be inside of my car in the passenger seat and kid is gonna be waving at you and saying hello because kid misses you. And the kids that gave us their email address, their, their, their address, Kid is going to stop by and is going to see you. Take some pictures with Kid, record, post it on Facebook, let your friends know, get in touch with us because Kid wants to come and see you at your house too. So don't forget that. Send us an email if you want Kid to come by your house and say hello to you from the car outside of the street. Okay? The email one more time is vdkidsconnection at gmail.com. VD stands for Believe a drive. Okay? Send us an email. If you have my cell phone number, you have mom and dad text me and send me a note and say, I want kids to come and visit us and we will bring kids to your house next Sabbath afternoon after Kids Connection Program. It's going to be between 3 o'clock and 5 o'clock where kids, where kids come by and visit you guys. Okay? So don't forget to send us that note and we will do our best to bring kids uh, to you guys. Now, We've come to a close of another Kids Connection program, and I want to thank you guys. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being a part of our program. Thank you because you are special. We love you. We miss you guys. We pray for you every day. And next week, we're going to have something fun happening again. Tomorrow, we have Kid to Kid at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Sunday. Speaking of Sunday and Kid to Kid, there is a new kid that is going to join us. He's from New York. His father found us on Facebook and he joined us last week and I spoke with his father and his father said that he's gonna come in tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna play a game that is good for all ages. If you are one, if you are two, if you are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, if you're 85, if you're 105, you can join us tomorrow. Oh no, sorry, it's just for kids. It's kid to kid. But all the kids in different ages will be able to play our game tomorrow. It's super fun. I'm going to test how sharp your ears are. Ready? Kid to Kid tomorrow on Zoom. Go to graceandconditional.com, register for Kid to Kid, and uh, log in on Zoom tomorrow at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, a note to the parents. We are not having our parents' connection today. And as, as a matter of fact, we are only having our kids connection to our parents connection on the second sabbath of the month okay thank you so much for the boys and for the boys and and, and uh, that wrote to us don't forget to write to us and we'll read your note again it was good having you at another in, in another kids connection program we will see you next week i love you guys i miss you until then god bless you and keep you safe bye 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 Good morning, boys and girls. I'm glad you have joined us today. I just want to mention a few names and welcome some of the children. I hope that we have Sunny and Rio and Gia, Amy and Cameron, Aiden, Benjamin, Carly and Sammy, Max and Vita, Janie, Jade and Jax, Caitlin, Josiah, Vashti, Ariane and Moses, Will and Nicholas, Zori and Baby, Luke and John, Joshua, Jael, and Joy, Reese, Estella, Tayel, Federico, and Francisco. I hope everyone's week has gone well. I know we're all at home. 
I hope that you're finding some things to do and helping your mommy and daddy a little bit. I want to talk to you today about some young men who were from the land of Israel. Their country had been in a war with Babylon. The king of Babylon came and attacked their city and he won. He took some of the young men from the city to go to school to become his wise men. He only took the handsomest and the smartest ones that he could find to help him in his city. They had to go to school for three whole years. They had to learn the language of Babylon. They had to learn the culture, which is what those people do. And they had to study very hard. Now the king had also said that he wanted his students to eat food from his table. He wanted them to be healthy and strong. So he gave them some really rich food to eat. These are the kinds of things that he ate and he wanted them to eat it also. And he wanted them to drink wine from his table. He gave him only the best food. Well, Daniel and his three friends had already decided that they could not eat some of the food that was on this table because God had told them not to eat certain foods. And they decided that they would not eat those foods that God wanted them to eat. They knew that all the rich meat and the wine was not good for them. So they asked the king's servant if they could have only water and fruits and vegetables to eat. The king's servant didn't know whether he should do that or not because he was worried that he might get in trouble with the king. But he told them that they could eat bread, fruit, and water, and vegetables for 10 days. And at the end of the 10 days, he would see if they were healthy. So the king's servant gave them water and fruits and vegetables to eat for 10 days. So let's see, how many days is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And at the end of 10 days, he compared Daniel and his three friends to all the other young men who ate food from the king's table. And Daniel and his three friends were healthier than all of the other young men that ate the food that the king had given them to eat. Wow, they put, they put God first in their lives and decided that they were only going to do what God asked them to do. Now, we can do that also. What kind of ways can we put God first? We can trust God and put him first when we're playing with our friends, we can put him first when we give our offering and tie that Sabbath school and church. Does God really need our tithes and offerings? No, he doesn't really need our money. But the way we use our money or the way we love our money shows, us, shows him what we value the most. We should value the most loving God, being kind to others, doing what Jesus has asked us to do. That's why he asked us to give our tithes and offerings. It's a way to put him first instead of thinking only of ourselves. Do you think that God takes care of you? Do you think that he takes care of your family? He helps your mommy and daddy to find a job, helping to pay for things. He has a place for you to live, food to eat, toys for you to play with, everything good that you have your parents, your home, your family, everything good has come from God. And he wants to know that you are thankful to him for that. Let's learn our memory verse today. We started it a little bit last week. It is kind of long, so I want you to listen as I read it to you. The thing you should want most is God's kingdom and doing what God wants then all these other things you need will be given to you. Matthew 6, verse 33. And by other things, God means clothing, food, 
love from your family, and love from God. God gives you everything you need. You don't have to worry about it. Now let's do it again. This time we'll try a motion. The thing you should want, want is like this. Put your thumbs up for most, go, that's most. Want the most is God's kingdom and doing what God wants. Now, we're going to do that part again. So watch me. The things you should want most is, this is, is God's kingdom and doing what God wants. Let's try the memory verse again. All right. The thing you should want most is God's kingdom and doing what God wants. Then all these other things will be added to you. Wow, it's a long memory verse. It comes from Matthew 6, verse 33. Maybe you can have mommy or daddy look it up and read it to you and try to memorize it. God certainly takes care of us in rough times, doesn't he? Well, maybe you can let me know some ways that God has been taking care of you and your family. I would like to say a little prayer with you so fold your hands and bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for so many blessings. Please help us to put you first. And thank you for taking care of us. Amen. Now I'm going to show you what your craft is this week. This is a color picture of it. This is called a food pyramid. Now the biggest part is on the bottom. That's the water that we drink. And then the next part would be cereals and grains and breads. And then we go on up to the fruits and vegetables. At the top in the smaller parts are cheese and milk and yogurt and things like beans and eggs. And at the very, very tippy top, we have the sweet food. That means that you should eat the smallest portion of the sweet food. Now, I have one for you to color. It will be on the website so that you can get it. Let me show it to you. It doesn't have the water portion on it, but that would be right here at the bottom. So go ahead and color it and think about what foods are really good for you. Thank you for coming today, boys and girls. I hope you have a good week. Goodbye.